Team, keep it clean. We got a new development in this entire thing going on, or maybe not going on uh, with Zay Flowers. But before we get into it, uh, first and foremost, y'all are much more well-versed and y'all have a much deeper and y'all much more knowledgeable in the criminal justice system than I am. So if there's anything that I misunderstand, if there's anything that I missed explain, uh, if anything that I just straight up get wrong, feel free to correct me in the comment section. Feel free. Let me know exactly what it is. Because y'all know a lot more about this stuff than I do. And there may be something that I just don't get. So let me know. Uh, and another thing, excuse my voice. Uh, as y'all can tell, I am very under the weather. Um, but we'll be okay. It's at one of them weird points where the next day it gets better in one way, but it gets worse in another way. So but we, we'll, we'll be all right. I love y'all, team. Keep it clean. And let's get into it. This article was uh, published uh, last night. Last night at 10.05 p.m. So... As news keeps trickling in, uh, we'll keep getting it out to y'all when we find out anything. But this was from Justin Fenton, who has been all over this thing. Uh, the title of the article, and I'll link it down below in the description as well, says 911 call, woman in distress near Ravens Way wide receivers, a flowers home. Let's get into the article. It says, the morning that neighbors observed Baltimore County police outside of Baltimore Ravens wide receivers, a flowers owing Mills home. Dispatchers received a 911 call from a distressed woman that was geolocated to the house next door a recording show so that first paragraph has let me know that this woman didn't call from zay flowers house but she was next door in the house next to zay flowers house but let's continue says the dispatch recording provides some new insight into a domestic assault investigation involving flowers that reached police departments in two states fox 45 which first reported on the january 16th recording also reported that neighbors said police were at flowers home the same morning Flowers has not been charged with a crime. On the recording reviewed by the Baltimore Banner, a dispatcher can be heard calling for an officer to check a location in Flowers Block. The address is next door to Flowers Home, though the dispatcher noted the location was determined using geolocation technology. So what I'm getting from that, the neighbor called and said, hey, um, check on this house. It wasn't necessarily Zay Flowers' house, but because it said the address is next door to Zay Flowers' house. Well, let's just keep going. It says the dispatcher says that a woman was called back. Uh, yeah, that a woman was called back indicating a 911 hang up and that she was crying. She said she didn't have an emergency, but seemed in distress when she hung up the phone, the dispatcher says. So, um, sound like somebody called, a woman called. She was crying. She was upset, uh, but she hung up. They called her back. She was crying, but she didn't have an emergency. They said she was in distress. It says it's unclear. That's why I got from it. Back to the article. Though. It says it's unclear what, if anything, county police did in response to the call. County police refused to confirm a visit to the home or that a call was received. Okay, well, never mind. I got to take back what I said then. See, I this this whole thing is just, is, is murky now. It is very murky. So it says, it's unclear what, if anything, county police did in response to the call. So apparently they got a call, but it says they refused to confirm a visit to the home or that a call was received. So they ain't confirm anything or deny anything. So I don't know. Earlier in the week, in response to questions about flowers, police confirmed that as of January 21st, they were looking into an alleged assault, but could not provide additional details. So again, still murky, but. Continuing, it says late Friday, after receiving multiple inquiries from the Baltimore Banner about that investigation and any prior 911 calls, the department issued a statement that said the department has an open investigation and is working to determine if any crime has occurred. Any statement that confirms Zay Flowers as a suspect is inaccurate. So that's very powerful words right there, um, because that's to me. Let me read it again says the department has an open investigation and is working to determine if any crime has occurred. So that part right there, is, they, they, they're investigating it. They're looking to see if there were any crimes that happened, looking to see if anything went down. And the next part says any statement that confirms Zay Flowers as a suspect is inaccurate. So they're saying that Zay Flowers right now is not a suspect in any of the crimes that they are investigating. That's what I got from that. Again, let me know if I'm misinterpreting or misunderstanding it at all. But... That's significant. Now, continuing, it says police in Acton, Massachusetts, also acknowledged a domestic violence incident reported, excuse me, 
Let me just start it over. Police in Acton, Massachusetts also acknowledged a domestic violence incident report related to an alleged incident in Baltimore County last month that involved flowers, but declined to release the report, citing state laws that keep confidential communications between victims and police in cases of domestic violence or sexual assault. An Acton police spokesman also cited the law and declined to answer questions on the matter. So, to me, what that's saying is that there's still some stuff there's still some possibilities out there because it sounds like the police in Massachusetts are being mum and, and really keeping quiet about whatever that got reported there. That's what it sounds like to me. But anyway, let, let, let me read it again. Police in Acton, Massachusetts also acknowledge a domestic violence incident reported, excuse me, a domestic violence incident report related to an alleged incident in Baltimore County. So, they're saying that these two incidents are linked last month that involved Zay Flowers, but they declined to release the report. So there's a report there that hasn't been put out yet. That's to me, that's concerning. It, 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 it is very concerning, but it hasn't been reported. And then it says citing state laws that keep confidential communications between victims and police in cases of domestic violence or sexual assault. So I guess um, that. The victim that called the police, that there's that confidentiality agreement that they, they can't put the business out there. Again, that's what it sounds like to me. Let me know if I'm wrong. But it says an acting police spokesman also cited the law and declined to answer questions on the matter. So they answer no questions on that whole report. And it says, uh, we take these matters seriously and will have no further comment at this time. A Raven spokesman said Thursday afternoon. We, of course, talked about that yesterday. Um, so, yeah, we... Uh, and shout out to Justin Fenton because he is the one from Baltimore Banner that has been covering this whole thing and just keeping us updated on every single thing that happens, that doesn't happen, that goes down, that just everything, just keeping us up to date with it all. Um, what I took from that is that it, it's just it's still a lot to be determined right now. That's what I got from it. Um, there's still a lot that we just don't know. It's a lot that hasn't come out yet. Uh, especially the part about where it talked about how the act in Massachusetts, that police department, they are keeping quiet on that whole report and they not saying anything about it yet. So, again, we'll see. Like we continue to say, uh, we just got to wait till all the facts come out. But as each fact comes out, we'll keep you all updated because this is uh, very significant, obviously. Um, and we'll just see how this entire thing ends up going i i, I appreciate y'all um i really appreciate y'all too for um for being sensitive to people because this is a very sensitive subject and i know um there, there can be a lot of people that can be insensitive about a subject like this and again we don't know all the facts we don't know what happened we we don't know straight up but i appreciate y'all being respectful to people because there are people who have been through this stuff on one side or another or on one end or another and i appreciate y'all respecting them but y'all are always respectful i ain't got to worry about that with y'all um so that's big so thank you team keep it clean i love y'all and again like i said anything that happens with this whole thing any more updates any more articles that we see we'll let you know i love y'all and we out